I'm Sarah Hodgson from When Dogs Talk, Sarah Listens. Today I'm sitting here with Bradley, a five-month-old Havanese who's going to help me talk about how to train a small dog. There are three things that are really important to remember when training a small dog. Number one, I don't want to bend over Bradley. If I bend over Bradley, it can look threatening even if I have the most loving intentions. The second thing that's really important in training a small dog is that the voice stay calm, directive, and reassuring. Hyper-excited tones or frustrations are easily amplified to a small dog because I'm so much bigger. It would be like if a silverback gorilla was trying to teach me to crack an egg. No matter how much I trusted that gorilla, any fast motions would still make me a little nervous. The third thing that's important is that I want to either get down on Bradley's level when going through new lessons or bring Bradley up to my level so that we're a little more on equal playing grounds. So today I'm going to go through some basic commands with Bradley and to do that I'm going to use a table. So I'm going to teach Bradley on a low table. I'm going to make sure I put myself between um, the table's edge and where I'm working with Bradley. And because this is a wooden table, it's not going to feel very comforting. It's going to feel very unstable to his paws. So I am going to stretch out a blanket and I'm going to lay it flat so that when I put Bradley on it, he feels more secure. And when I first start out teaching Bradley some words, I'm going to use treats and praise to guide him along. I can phase off the treats after about a week or so, but in the beginning I want to create a really positive association to working with me. I'm going to first practice with Bradley when there are no distractions around. The more distractions that are around, the harder it is for any dog to focus, but especially a smaller dog because they're so little and there's so much going on that can overwhelm them. So I've put the blanket down, Bradley just can't wait to get started. And today we're going to go over two commands on the table, the command to sit and the command to lie down. Um, there are a couple of other video blogs that can help with this. One is on pressure points, the other is on luring, and the other is on handling a small dog. Check those out too. Ready to get started, Bubba? I'm going to bring Bradley out, and then I'm going to get some treats. I'm going to let him sniff around the, the, the table here for a minute so he gets more secure. But boy, Bradley. Now, a lot of dogs lie down when they're feeling insecure, so that's not necessarily a bad sign. It's just a dog kind of uh, getting used to where they are. Good boy, Bradley. Good boy. So here we have just some basic treats, some Charlie Bears and Cheerios. And I'm going to sit. I'm going to say sit to Bradley as I'm positioning him. Now you'll notice he's swinging out from me a little on the table. So what I'm going to do is use a pressure point just to hold his little waist and again sit. The reason he's pulling out, or the reason they kind of move side to side, is because they feel insecure when they're off the ground. This will just take a little while for him to get used to. And remember, another option is to kneel down on the floor and uh, run through the basic lessons with him at his level. There, he's getting more comfortable on the table. Ready? We're going to take the treat. We're going to drop it in between his paws. Down! Good boy! And you'll notice that when I'm introducing these commands to Bradley, I'm saying them as he's doing them. I'm not commanding him and waiting for him to simply understand me. He's not going to understand me until he's done these things several, several times. So again, sit. Good boy, Bradley. Good boy. And down. Now once your dog gets really good at this, you can do puppy push-ups no matter what their size. Big, little, or medium. Good. Sit. Oh, he's doing a little puppy push-up. Good boy, Bradley. And down. Good boy. I can even toss in a stand. If I can encourage him to stand up, use his hip pocket, stand, sit. Good boy. Come here, lovey. Oh, he's a good boy. So when training a dog, remember, don't bend over them. Keep your voice directive and reassuring and work on their level in an undistracted environment. Either bring them up on a table with a blanket to help them feel secure, work them on uh, maybe a large couch, or kneel down on the floor with them. Once they learn their words, words they'll remember them forever. So thank you for watching, and thank you Bradley. What a good puppy you are. You're a good boy. You're a love. You're a love.